best fight, I think, for Amanda Nunes is Gabby Garcia. Amanda has been undefeated since 2015, winning 12 fights in a row, catapulting, skyrocketing up to the top, winning the two titles, and with the shutdown of the featherweight division, there's nobody left in the rankings. Amanda Nunes has completely destroyed the bantamweight division as well. If you look at who's ranked at number one right now, it's Jermaine Duran to me, a woman that Amanda Nunes has already beaten twice. I don't want to see the trilogy fight on that. Gabby Garcia has been undefeated in her mixed martial arts career. There's people on the internet saying that Amanda Nunes would walk out there and knock out Gabby in the first round. Well, I don't think it's true. Gabby Garcia has not only beaten everybody in her career, she's finished them by knockout or submission. Her six fights have all been finished in either the first or the second round as well. And Gabby Garcia is huge. She's 209 pounds and she's taken on women in Japan who Amanda Nunes hasn't fought way bigger woman than Amanda Nunes has fought in, in the featherweight division. And, and this fight would be absolutely incredible. If, if you look at what's left of the bantamweight division right now, it's bleak. You got Aspen Ladd, Holly Holm is ranked at number two. We've already seen Nunes beat Holly Holm and Holly Holm doesn't deserve another title shot. Eventually, this is gonna be the fight to make. Gabby Garcia, is incredible on the ground, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, and a great one at that. And not only is Gabby Garcia 209 pounds and six foot two inches tall, she has incredible power. And Amanda Nunes relies on her power. We've seen her utilize her power, knocking her opponents out, smashing them with her punches. Nunes has incredible knees as well, but Nunes has amazing power in her hands and she would have a serious reach disadvantage versus Gabby Garcia. Nunes, who usually, usually relies on her power, might have to utilize a different asset here. She might have to use her speed and really try to outwork Gabby Garcia. But to see Amanda Nunes go in there and take on a woman like Gabby, who's so much bigger and has such a huge presence, it would be so interesting, and, and we've seen men do this. We've seen guys like Fedor Emelianenko go in there and fight bigger men, and I just feel like women deserve that same opportunity to see a smaller woman go in there and try to take out the biggest woman out there, and not only the biggest woman out there, the best. Gabby Garcia is without a doubt the best of the biggest woman out there, and it's a division that we haven't really seen. In the Ultimate Fighting Championship, obviously we haven't seen it at all. We've only seen Gabby Garcia have cameos in, in Bellator. And we've never seen a fight like this. In the United States, this would be, could be the biggest female fight of all time to see Amanda Nunes go out there and try to defeat the giant, Gabby, who's never been beat. Amanda Nunes get the opportunity and the chance to do that. Gabby Garcia, incredible on the ground, amazing power. Nunez would want to go out there, knock her out, slam her. Could she do it? This is the fight to make.